All right, all right, this box is so big, I can hide behind it and I could probably build a house with it. Woo, Mythic Battles Pantheon. Not gonna say much about it other than it's still in the shrink and just think Greek gods and then battle. Hello, Greek gods, like Scott. <laughs> I gotta give him a positive. Hold on, this one's got tape. All right, my hand's over it. Yes, there's some tape on it, I didn't even look. Can I get, yes, all right, I got her open. Wow, this is sealed great. Hand's still on it. Again, this is a quick hitter, Scotch Test Dummies, blind. I have no idea what's in this. Part of it's gonna be the reveal, and part of it is to see what is, or what I can pick up out of it. All right, here we go. Don't spill it on the Hannibal game. Still haven't finished playing Hannibal. All right, here we go. Lock her back up, set it over here. Okay, so we get samples in. We couldn't get to all of them. We're now, Scott and I are working through them on the quick hitters, all right? We got a nice color. Of course, we don't know if this is a scotch, rye, bourbon, Taiwanese, Japanese, so we're not gonna judge it by its color. Do not judge by the color. Also, stay tuned, because at the end, I am going to mention a way you can help support us via Audible. And I'll mention a, uh, a little book that you can get. You can get one free book as long as you use, uh, use the Scotch Test Dummies tag. So stay in at the end. Uh, stay tuned at the end. We'll mention that. I'll probably have to step away. I can't remember the name of the link. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay. This is going to be different. It smells like a bourbon. We're going to nose from the edge. Yeah, I get a beautiful caramel vanilla. The oak, strong bourbon notes here. So obviously bourbon is that, that oak, that caramel, that vanilla. It's like a vanilla cream. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, that, that oak woodiness here. Mmm. I like a real clean wood, too. Sometimes I'll get a sawdust wood. Not here. Oh, this has got a nice... This is like the uh, hard caramel Werther's candy s smell, but what you would get in the taste when you when you eat, uh, put those candies in your mouth. When you put those candies in your mouth. When you eat it. All right. Huh. I just got a hint of rye. That could be crazy. I didn't get that the first time. I got a little dill hint. Okay. I don't know. I'm not getting it now. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So maybe there's a little, uh, we got a little bit more rye in the mash bill, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. All right. Let's see if we can describe. I'm getting a little bit of a pepper. Um, it's got a good ABV on it. It's not, I don't think it's up super high, but I would, I wouldn't be surprised we're in the fifties here at all. Caramel drizzle finish. Mmm. Wow. Smooth, like the caramel you'd put over a vanilla ice cream. I'm getting those vanilla notes and a sweet smooth caramel in the finish. I'm going to have to come back to the forefront in the middle. Wow, the finish lingers. Lingers sweet. Touch of spice. Hmm. Almost like um, I had a spiced apple pie once. And it's hearkening back to that. It was all a mode with some vanilla on it. Warm. I get a warmth here. Wow, that is, that, this is pleasant. I would still say I get a hint of rye on the nose here. Clearly a bourbon, I believe. But I feel like I'm getting some rye in there. Forefront is oak. Transitions to like a cherry cola. Then again into that sweet, clean, 
caramel finish. Mmm. That's tasty. That is tasty. This is a bourbon I could sip for hours. Nice. We're going to try it with a little bit of water, a little water paraphernalia stick, stainless, hello. We're going to try that. I don't think it's changed the nose much. Still getting lovely vanilla, oak, caramel. Not really getting the rye in there on that nose. We're going to look at it here in a second. I don't believe water's opened it up crazily. I'm not, not getting anything extra on it. Oh, there's a lot of info. Oh, look at this. Poor man's Pappy Blend from Mike. And then there's a lot of info on here. So we got Weller's 12, and then it says uh, 12 ounce. So this must have gone into the big bottle that he's made his poor man's Pappy. So Weller's 12, 12 ounces of that. E.H. Taylor small batch, five ounces of that. Old Forester 1920, 7.5 ounces. And then the oak, an oak spiral. And then aged four weeks. 51% ABV. Um, it says, P.S. You will want water. <laughs> and then there's a little smiley face on here. You know what? I loved it. Neat, um, flavorful. If that's, that's got to be, that's some detail. That's the poor man's pappy. Okay. It's good. This is great. Wow. That Weller's 12, 12 ounces of that, five ounces of the E.H. Taylor small batch, and then uh, 7.5 of the old Forester with an oak spiral in there. Mike, Mike, Mike. Can you send me a full bottle of this? Because <laughs> that's a hefty sample. And I thank you for it. This is delicious. This is really, really good. Wow. What a nice blend, my friend. Wow. Mmm. Man, that 51% ABV is smooth. Mmm. Mmm. That's a treat. That is a treat. Poor man's pappy. I'm going to enjoy this some more, but I'm going to do that off camera. <laughs> okay? See you guys later. Scotch it, you scotch gods. I'm going to continue testing it. Still not sure how to finish this segment. <laughs> All right, I finished shooting the quick hitter, and I didn't tack in the part where I'd mentioned uh, the little plug for Audible. So for those that don't know, and you can skip this, this is not going to be as much whiskey as it is coffee. I love Audible. Audible is just books that are read to you. <laughs> so someone's reading you a story. Here's the cool thing. You can go, um, if you don't have an Audible account and you get one using our name, you'll get one free book, a free credit. And uh, if you open an account, do all this kind of stuff. Um, but even if you already have one, there's some great whiskey books, bourbon books. I'll mention one and then I'll mention one that isn't. So first of all, if you're interested in Audible, I'll tell you some more about it a little bit. You go to audibletrial.com, then put in a backslash, and then just put Scotch Test Dummies. They were early, we got into their early supporter program and a couple people signed up. So in full disclosure, we get $15 every time somebody actually uh, creates an account and gets their first book. So again, it's Audible Trial, A-U-D-I-B-L-E trial.com backslash scotch test dummies.com. I'll put that on the screen as well. You can get some books like Bourbon Empire, if you can see that. I've got that. It gives the both the past history of where bourbon as an American spirit comes from, where it is now and where it's headed. Talks a little bit about the people that drink it, make it, um, sell it. And there's many more stories like it. And what I like is this one was 10 hours and 23 minutes. 
And I'll tell you a secret, I listened to it at 1.5 speed. You get used to it and you just rip through books like nothing else. I do a lot of driving and commuting sometimes, so that's when it helps out. So, the first time I backed, I went for a very long, long book that I'd always wanted to read, Rise and Fall of the Third Reich by Shire. Thing is a tome. And I think it's 53 hours of listening material. And I thought, I'm going to get it with my free credit. I wasn't sure it was going to be something I would like. And oh my God, that book was phenomenal. The writing was great. The reading of it was great. It wasn't very stilted. It, it told its story. And it was even emotional. Um, the transition and the way the story was told, boom, rise and fall of the Third Reich. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever would have picked that up and actually sat through and read it. So I fell in love with Audible right there. So that's enough on this. There'll be more whiskey quick hitters coming. Literally, I was like, I've got to get this done before I shoot more whiskey quick hitters. So audibletrial.com backslash scotch test dummies and scotch it, you scotch gods. And then read a little bit. <laughs> See you guys.